Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for March 19th, 2020. Boy, I got to tell you, um, this market is a dangerous place to be right now. Pretty violent, um, unpredictable. It's, it's hard to know what comes next. But let's talk about the technicals. Let's talk about what we have in these charts. And so let's settle in and get ready for the Thursday edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning, well, let's start with yesterday. We uh, tripped another circuit breaker, um, halting trading for a little while as we saw oil. Um, oil just cavitated yesterday. Um, moving much lower we finally got a little bit of a bounce um, right at the end of the day and we're trying to lift up just slightly here this morning on these energy stocks but pretty darn ugly in its sell-off yesterday that really created an awful lot of pressure in the in the market um, yesterday and we even saw um, so-called safe havens um, sell off yesterday gold selling off things like that bond selling off um, pretty rough day for the overall market and I think what's happening here is we're reaching that point of pure capitulation where folks are just throwing up their hands and there's a rush to go to cash um, as if we're giving up here for a moment and saying you know I can't I can't be in here and so I'm going to continue and at the risk of sounding like a broken record and repeating myself over and over and over. I really believe uh, for most retail traders, the best course of action is to stand aside. Um, the numbers are starting to grow uh, pretty substantially. Uh, we're seeing... Um, will probably be over 8,000 infections today, uh, maybe more. Um, I suspect we will see more than 10,000 infections by this weekend. And and this is just from following the news. Anybody can do what I'm doing here. And then uh, what that would suggest is we're going to see an exponential growth over the next couple of weeks of infections here in the United States. So as this continues to spread and as this continues to grow, one of the most important things we can do as a people, um, not just traders, is to... Um, work to protect ourselves and our families. Um, I, I suspect this is going to get substantially worse before it gets better. And I don't think that's a big surprise to anyone. It's probably more like, gee, thanks a lot, Captain Obvious. But we have to realize that um, at this point in time, we are in a, a, a crisis situation that we really, that's unprecedented, that we really don't understand. We don't understand how much this impact is going to be to um, businesses, to employment, to all of those things. And the market is still trying to grapple with some of those, some of those issues. Now, Monday, we're going to, um, the trading floors are going to be closed and we're going to move to a completely electronic traded market um, and that may not we may not notice any difference in the way the market trades we could we could notice um, some kind of changes in the price action when that occurs I don't I don't know what that's actually going to be it's kind of a, a new thing for the market so I, I just want to suggest um, for most folks is just protect that capital you know one thing we do know is this virus will eventually run its course and the extreme measures that are being taken to protect um, uh, protect Americans here you know shutting things down um, we should all um, be focused more on our families, um, uh, parents and grandparents and things like that than really worrying about what's going on in the market right now. Now's the time to come together and really start to work to protect yourself and your family. And that means really probably protecting that capital and trying to avoid the real heavy risks that we see here in the market. Now, yesterday we did get a rally at the end of the day, but unfortunately, um, 
that's not being held this morning here very well. We're going to see a gap down this morning. And even after the ECB came out with a stimulus package of over $800 billion, we had a, a brief bump in the futures last night, but uh, another turbulent day. And now we're looking to gap down here once again in the market. The president signed the first of the stimulus bills last night. It was passed by the Senate and it was almost immediately signed by the president. Um, enacting that first stimulus bill and there they are beginning the work today on a much bigger package that could top a um, trillion dollars in stimulus where there may actually be direct payments to uh, folks here in the United States but we have um, a situation that is really um, leaving these big uncertainties um, in front of us and a path forward that we can't quite see. Um, it's like stumbling around in the dark. So while we might get some rallies back and things like that, it's going to be very, very dangerous price action for most traders. And we definitely could see more downside here in the market. Um, I marked out yesterday, and it, again, yesterday it seemed like almost unreasonable for that possibility that we could reach down here. But notice how close we came to that just yesterday. It wouldn't take a whole lot more uh, bad news to really push us down into that level so kind of keep that in mind um, as as this continues to um, um, we, we continue to see that flight to safety and, and safety being cash right now just running to cash this could get much more difficult yet so be careful on how you trade uh, this market remember once this is over once the virus kind of runs its course there are better days ahead and if we protect that capital we'll be in pretty good shape um, when this begins to settle down when that will be, I don't know. And how long this will last, I don't know. And I don't pretend to know what happens next here in the market. Um, I don't want to be predicting anything uh, forward because of such uncertainty. And I got to tell you, everyone, as we head into the weekend, I think those uncertainties are only going to continue to ramp up um, as as we move into that weekend and that escalation in infections here in the United States um, really starts to speed up. So be very, very careful. Now, technically speaking, we're in a dismal situation here right now. Um, obviously, <laughs> this is just a watershed event. Um, We've never, I have never experienced in 30 years of trading anything um, remotely close to this. Um, obviously, 2008 was horrific. It was terrible. But 2008 wasn't a straight straight falling knife um, in the process. And there was relief along the way um, in that process. We've not had that relief here. And every time we do get a bump up, it's immediately met with more selling. We we plow up 1,000, 1,800 points. And then the next day, we just uh, dive, uh, making it very, very difficult for people to um, hold on to any credibility in price action right now. So so there's not much we can hang our hat on. Now, for those of you who are very, very quick intraday traders, you know, there's probably trading um, that can be done on short term charts, five minute, 15 minute charts, but it's very, very quick and it can't be anything held for a, uh, much of a, a period of time. So um, just just be very, very careful. Um, who knows where this uh, finally bottoms out, but we're going to have quite a process of recovery here, uh, particularly when we start to see um, earnings reports coming out uh, next month, uh, all the effects of this. We, we, we're likely to uh, be in this mess for a little while. So please, um, please protect yourself and be careful. Um, I know there's a lot of talk out there about just buying up value stocks and things like that. But so far, um, and, and, and that's certainly doable. I mean, um, we could buy up some value plays, you know, uh, stocks that we believe are going to come back. But we're going to have to be willing to hold through some possible um, bigger pullbacks um, 
to occur in those. So if you have the risk tolerance to be able to just hang on to those for a long period of time, we'll be in good shape. You'll be in good shape. But um, if you don't have that kind of risk tolerance, standing aside is probably the best thing to do. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY, whoops. SPY, certainly a dismal situation here as well. We ended up breaking down through that 2018 low yesterday, bouncing back up, finding some support. Notice that I, I put this line down here yesterday and saying, hey, if we break and don't hold here, the possibility of, of us testing all the way down here to 214, um, checking that big level of support seems uh, possible. Um, we were able to hold yesterday and rally back up holding that support so that's a great sign uh, that we we may be finding or we're, we are still at least trying to respect price support and resistance at least at the moment but there's no indication here yet that we're going to be able to break um, any of this downtrend or really start moving higher and this morning futures are pointing to a slightly lower open here in the spy if we take a look at the cues and when i say slightly lower open about 55 points lower which you know used to be a full day's move or more of a full day's move um in the future or uh, in the s p 500 and now we're moving that um within moments of time qqq had a nice rally back up yesterday and um the nasdaq um, still below its 500 day we ended up holding this uh 2019 um, uh, low here um, if we don't uh, continue to hold in there, um, you can see there are um, large drops that could occur if we don't hold that level. Right now, holding in there pretty well and looking pretty good. We'll have to watch, wait, and see how that how that moves along this morning. But we're looking at about 100 points down in the NASDAQ this morning. Let's take a look at... Um, um, IWM. Poor IWM. This has been under love for a long time and it, it, although it did bounce a little bit yesterday, no real rally back here. And unfortunately, this really encompasses a lot of things that's going on with our financials. Um, XLF, um, um, our financials uh, being a big part of IWM, just in this watershed event, um, continuing to fail, breaking uh, substantial lows and support levels, and just not finding a lot of love to come back. Now, last night, the, the Fed announced um, some unprecedented, well, since 2008, some extreme measures to help support the financial market. So maybe that will start to show some benefits here in the days forward but um, certainly a difficult situation here in um, all these indexes. If we take a look at the VIX, um, it's, it's clear that fear is uh, pretty darn prevalent here. And although we pushed up to a new high yesterday, uh, fear pulled back by the end of the day when we caught that rally. But I'm guessing with the, with the futures now pointing to a lower open this morning, right now Dow futures are pointing to 500, more than 500 point gap down, we could see this um, uh, VIX continuing to rally here as fear continues to grow. And that ends certainty uh, that we see here in the market so not a huge surprise but um, pretty difficult to trade and now anyone that trades options um, and I primarily am an options trader nowadays but I got to tell you guys options unless you do very very quick option trading there's just nothing to trade the bid ask spreads the cost of the options are ridiculous because of the high implied volatility um, they're virtually untradeable except for those real quick in and out trades that we can kind of offset the implied volatility with the quick move. But my goodness, it is a dangerous place to trade right now with those options. So be really, really careful, everyone. If we take a look at T2122, we really can't glean much information here from T2122. And that's just simply because there is this is just, uh, like I say, an unprecedented situation where we're dragging ourselves right along the bottom on here. Um, no sign yet of uh, um, relief rally that can follow through at all. So uh, once again, 
uh, best course of action for most retail traders is to just stand aside and protect yourself. If we take a look at our economic calendar for today, we do have a few things on that calendar that are going to be interesting this morning. We have jobless claims and we have the Philly Fed uh, business outlook. It's going to be interesting to see when we start, if these numbers, um, uh, these impacts start to trickle in and adding more pressure uh, to uh, to the market. So keep an eye on that. We have the patrol or uh, natural gas report today, and we have the Fed balance sheet. But could be could be um, an interesting morning when those come out at eight thirty, depending on whether or not those numbers are starting to trickle into um, things here in our economic uh, condition. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar, we have about 120 companies uh, reporting. I got to tell you, though, I don't think anybody's paying attention much to earnings at all right now because of what's going on. Um, and companies that are um, reporting are, are likely going to be experiencing major impacts um, uh, DRI reports today, uh, DRI Darden restaurants, we can't, can imagine that restaurants are going to be experiencing uh, massive impacts from the closures and things going on. Had quite an interesting pattern yesterday, uh, pushing way down and then bouncing back up this morning. I don't see a report here yet. Um, who knows where that's going to be when it's over. Um, Lennar, um, obviously, um, housing could have a major impact on this um, as it, it's well first off it's becoming very very difficult to get anything built because everyone is protecting themselves but um, we just don't know where this is going to go either Lennar reporting today we'll want to watch that closely uh, CAN CAN reporting don't expect this to provide much of any uh, movement to the market here but it's one of those notables to pay attention to um, CTAS um, CentOS is um, always um, always an important uh, stock out here um, to pay attention to um, those business supplies and you can see um, pretty ugly here in this chart and, and no report as of yet and I don't expect too many folks are going to be um, reacting to this even if it is a good report um, OLLI is the last one I'm going to bring up this morning um, reporting today. So normally, guys, what I try to do is I try to provide some stocks that are setting up things that you can pay attention to and look for. And there are a few of those to, to pay attention to. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click uh, that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. Yesterday, we went over 9,500 subscribers, so we're on our way to 10,000. I want to thank everyone for that. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you so much. And if um, you find these videos to be worthy, please do me a favor and click that uh, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. It helps an awful lot. I truly appreciate it. Let's um, take a look at a few things that are holding up quite well that we might want to pay attention to. Take a look at Walmart. Walmart is holding up extremely well. It's one of those places that, you know, everyone's going to need the products that Walmart supplies. Um, and you can see holding up very, very well, even moving higher. So let's watch something in here. If you're looking for a long position or want a more of a safe haven type trade, this might be a place to go. Remember, Walmart pays a dividend, but um, expect an awful lot of volatility if you do decide to trade any of these stocks. They could swing dramatically um, over the course of the day and over the course of uh, the next several weeks. If we take a look at Clorox, CLX, CLX, um, still doing very well as their products continue to be bought up to try and sanitize around uh, the virus outbreak. And you can see um, holding up quite well. Had a, a very volatile price action. You're going to have to have quite a risk tolerance to be able to hold many of these, but um, holding up quite well. Um, all other places where you can look are just some of those basic supplies. Uh, Kroger, Kroger holding up uh, very, very well. Uh, still looking uh, 
pretty strong, even though lots of volatility um, in the stock. Everyone's going to need those groceries and, and basic necessities. Um, you might look at XLP. Now, XLP had an ugly sell-off here, but it's starting to firm up here just a little bit. These are those consumer staple stocks. And with TC2000, it's really easy. If you pull up XLP, you can just pull up a list of everything that is in that sector. And you can see Walmart and Kroger is right here in that sector. Costco is another one of those gaining benefits. We're going to probably see stocks like Hormel, Kellogg's, um, General Mills, uh, Procter & Gamble, um, all of those kind of stocks um, be uh, or benefit or be some of those stocks that come back faster than others. Tyson, we still need, uh, we're still going to need meat, um, those kind of things. Um, Hershey, um, all of those kind of stocks are things that might be a place to look for some relative safety and they're good dividend payers uh, to boot in there. So there may be a little bit of um, support in some of those. But once again, before I finish this up, I just want to tell everyone that you don't have to trade this market. You can stand aside and the volatility, as you can see in these stocks, these big swings, even these defensive sector type stocks, massive swings in them so you have to have a tremendous risk tolerance if you do decide to get into those everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day and more importantly i want to um I, I just want to suggest that let's all work to remain positive as positive as we can in this situation um, remember we need to come together as a nation right now and and do the things that we need to do to protect ourselves protect our family protect our communities from the spread of this virus and um, there will be better days coming I, I I'm confident of that there will be better days coming we just have to get through this um, rough patch and then we'll be we'll get back to some really good trading and probably some great opportunity here in the market until then be careful be very very careful protect yourself protect your capital protect your family that's going to be more important than anything else right now everyone take care i want to wish you all a fantastic day and i will see you right back here bright and early friday morning have a good one